Bertha's agency, a social AI agency, Tech with a Heart, they put together a hackathon for children. They did an AI vibe coding hackathon with kids. They had 1,500 kids worked with this agency and Lovable provided free access. A worldwide kids hackathon, 80 locations around the world and 1,500 children. I thought this was awesome. And they're going to be doing more. It was Lovable, Rosebud, AI. You can partner up so you can give them access to your tool and they'll give it to the kids to work with. Maybe I should help organise one in London. It's a beautiful site too. I love this. They've put five findings, the biggest takeaways that surprised and inspired us as adults. I wanted to quickly flag this up because I thought this is a wonderful project they did. One, kids have no limit on creativity. Their ideas flow freely, unconstrained. It reminded us to loosen up, let imagination lead the early stages and stop over-engineering from the start. This is what I love about vibe coding tools. You can go on them and say, hey, I want to build this and the tool will help you structure that and get building on it. The kids did not have that constraint. So they weren't sitting there thinking about their business plan. They weren't thinking about distribution. They were just like, hey, I want to build a cool game about a dragon and got on with it. Vibe coding is a way to start playing with code. It's a way to start playing with artificial intelligence and building something new. It's so much fun coding the first time you try it. Just build something cool so you can see the potentials. Kids are the best entrepreneurs. Flexible, fast, creative, happy, and genuinely supportive. Watching them launch ideas reminded us that true entrepreneurship is about attitude and teamwork. The best entrepreneurship and creative groups are expansive, full of people who celebrate each other's successes. I think that is so cool. If you don't have a group like that and you're building a business, try and find one. Me, personally, I go to entrepreneurs' dinners in London, run by Ollie Richards and Noel. It's a group of entrepreneurs who get together for dinner and everyone is incredibly supportive of what everyone else is doing because it's from diverse worlds. No one's really competing. Even if they're from the same world, they're not competitors because of that attitude of, hey, we're all doing something different. We're all building our own thing and let's support each other. It's much healthier to collaborate and see competitors as potential collaborators. Playful competition fuels rapid learning. Experimented, failed fast and iterated quickly exactly the agile loop we try to teach adults whereas kids just try things a lot of adults are very fearful of trying new things because if it doesn't work we look like idiots kids do not care if you can reclaim that it allows you to learn when we do something for the first time we're going to be bad at it because we've never done it before but the only way we can get good at something is by trying failing learning and trying again and doing better each time that's what kids do every day they Try, don't do very well, try again, learn. And that requires play and you need to be okay with it not working.